Hello everyone! Today we continue working with the velvet skirt. I'll show you how to stitch it. This is how the skirt looks like. This is the wrong side. And this is the right side. This is the welt for the bottom. I've already told you that the bottom of our skirt shouldn't be overcast. You can see that the bottom is not straight now because of the folds. Now I'll show you what to do next. This is the lining for the welt. I put it aside for now. This is the skirt itself. One side is ready. Now I'll show you how to stitch and overlock the other side. After that I'll show you how to attach the lining. We are stitching the yoke now. Be very careful with the pin tucks. The seam should be one centimeter wide. Remember that the back yoke goes from one side to the other and the front just like the tuck. Have a look at what we are doing. When you start stitching, the width of the seam is 1 cm. And then it should become narrower and narrower until it comes to nothing. Have a look at it. Be very careful. Let's go to an overlock now. You can see that I'm stitching the edges together. They will be pressed to one side. Be very attentive. When you finish teaching, you can go to a narrowing desk. I hope that after watching these videos, you won't be afraid of working with the velvet anymore. Notice that first you need just to iron the seam and then press it to one side. The pin tucks shouldn't be ironed. Be very attentive and careful. This is an adhesive material. I need it for a waistband not to stretch. The material shouldn't be stretching at all. Not a bit. I'm straightening the edges. I'm attaching this piece because I don't want to get any waves when attaching a hidden zipper. Even though velvet doesn't stretch much, I want to attach the adhesive material just to make sure the fabric is not going to stretch at all. Let's move on to the front. You should not only stitch this seam beautifully, you should also iron it beautifully. It should look very good. Mm 
Have a look here. This part is amazing. Now we'll process the side seams with a novel lock. The side seam should be pressed open. I don't recommend stitching velvet without taking. You need to take it first and then stitch. This side is ready. It's hard to sew even with the tekken. Make very small stitches when tekken. You should be very careful and attentive when working with velvet. When we finish tekken, we'll stitch it. We are pressing the side seam open. You shouldn't press it with an iron too hard. The skirt itself is ready. Now we can attach the lining to it. I need to cut the angles of the seams to do it. Match the side seams first. Then attach the whole waistband, making sure that all the details match. Start taking knot from the very edge. Move for about 5 cm. Make very small stitches, otherwise you'll get the waves. I've tacked the waistband, and now I can stitch it. It's not hard to stitch when the taken is good. Don't remove the pins too early. Now we'll remove the taken. We need to measure where the zipper should end. I make a notch here. That means that I need to stitch the center back down from this notch. The details match, so I go to the overlock to process the second edge. I connect the notches and start taking the center back. I'll take the seam from the notch to the bottom. The center back is ready. Next thing to do is to attach the zipper. The only things left to do are to attach the zipper and to stitch this seam. I'll do it next time. I'm glad I've decided to show you these techniques. That's all for today. Be different and beautiful. My name is Paukštirina. Subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.